is a UFC featherweight division fight. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Just misses there with the left. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Big punch lands through the middle. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Huge knee lands from in close. The left punch is clean, followed by a right. Oh, misses with the jab. Drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Beautiful strike. Rock him, suck him out of the shoot here. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Good body shot. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. with a right. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, he gets the takedown. That could be big. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Can't take many of those. You better check. Downers with a left. Try to establish that jab. <laughs> Trying to find a home for that right hand. Nice. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. How good is that right hand? Ooh, big shot land. Overhand right, swing and a miss. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. 
20 seconds to go. Started to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off him. A lot, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Pretty significant well to the left side. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Big knee lands to the body. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big power punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Too. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. And he connects with the punch. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range. He's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Just over three minutes to go. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. He blocks the punch. Nice punch, man. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, that's gonna soften him up. Massive knee to the body. Slips to avoid that left. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though. Look with at it. him yank the head and land that beautiful punch to the clinch. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Big body kick land. Well, didn't take long. You see the signs of bruising on the outside of that lead leg. Straight punch land. The right hook to the body. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, nice right hand. 
Just missed with the left there. That was a thudding leg kick. And just misses with that big right hand. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. A right, little struggle. Nice little shot, Lance. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And for the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes. is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Ten minutes in the books. So a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. BC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage him. Third round underway. Powerful leg kick lands. Good punch lands. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Blocks that kick to the body. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Big kick land. Oh, huge hook. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Spinning back fist is there. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. Checks that leg kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Hard shots landing on both sides here. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. How about that shin? Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive these over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Big punch man plays the top. How's he going to follow this one? And he landed the right hand there. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. All right, so he lands another punch there. And he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open. And now he's just touching it over and over again. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Oh, big punch land. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, rips the body shot there. Over and over.
whiffs on that offering. Big body kick. Single collar tie now. And this dude's cashing chips. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh! Huge right hand! Nice little shot, Lance. Mixes in an elbow for good measure. And now he lands a combination. Oh, big left hook there. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt. There is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. The official decision is inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Stop to this contest at four minutes, 22 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout, the assassin. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party. Today. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.